Welcome to the Project Watch. This is Herbie. Now, today I'm going to be talking about an American, right, who is a Jamaican, who was arrested in Jamaica for a murder committed in America. Yes, confusing. What? How are you going to talk about it? Next thing I'm going to briefly touch on the Inslee Parkins murder. That's the PNP councillor who was killed in Southboro. People ask me, say, I wonder if this means that the mother start. No, I'm not get it wrong. I'm going to talk about that later on in the video. Before we go into them thing, two things. First one is a Patreon radio shout out to the man who goes by the name My Youth. Man, on Patreon. Well, today, he man is a youth no more. He officially turns 50 years old. Major, major milestone for anybody. Half century, 50 more for go. Yeah. Him and wifey will be on the ocean celebrating by the time they hear this video drop. Right, so you know, say the cool breeze right upon the sea is supposed to have blow through them here. And that if him and the ear left. Right. <laughs> so, my youth, big up yourself, big up wifey, big up the whole family. Right. Go and enjoy your cruise and make it back in a one piece scene. Next thing. This Sunday, we have a video dropping. One of them, you know, historical video. You know, certain things happen, right? Regarding some of my favorite celebs, them, some of my favorite artists, them, and people that really know what I go on. I'm going to break it down for now. But this one will not just involve one, but two of your favorite artists. Yes, feeling extra bad man. Extra, extra bad man. So, two artists in a one video, man. Now on Sunday, we don't want to miss it. Also, that same Sunday will be a Patreon exclusive video drop in, right? Been warning the Patreon squad about this for a very long time. Sunday, it a drop, and I don't want to miss that either, right? So, two videos, and I'm going to drop that day, two big videos. Now, the video them I'm going to drop in the daytime. We know so nasty, mostly nighttime drop lately, but Sunday, me I drop in the daytime, right? I'm going to try to drop it around lunchtime because more on. People listen while they rice and pizza bun up. Right. So look out for that. We can start off first with Ayanna Reynolds. Now, according to the news, right, January 2022, right, she got wanted with the murder of her then boyfriend, right, which them called Andre. Right. So he was killed in January 2022, right, in Connecticut. All of a sudden, they can't find her. Lister was wanted. Turns out she was in Ireland. Right. Yes. Now, you know how that go. You see, when there were two people in a relationship and the woman kill the man, it's okay to ask questions like, wonder what him do? Maybe he was verbally abusive. Maybe him did do this. He must do something. Because she wouldn't just kill him. So, no man, I must up him do. Of course, as you know, these questions are socially acceptable whenever the woman killed the man. Now, maybe he was cruel. Maybe he was a cookie monster. Because as we know, the usual try to paint the picture say, well, I must something him do, so he must deserve it. So after the youth did, Andre, right, she decided to skip town, book a ticket to Ironman, as I say. Well, now she's been arrested. She was arrested by you know, the papers must then put JFAT, but as you should probably know by now, it's no longer woke to say fat. Right? So you can you can't call them JFAT. You know you have to call them J body positive. Right? So J body positive arrested her in Montego Bay. And check this. You ready for this? While being on the run for murdering her then boyfriend, J body positive catch her at home with her new boyfriend. Yeah. So, let me say she was listed as wanted. So it's unlikely. Say so didn't know. Right? Very unlikely because we're talking about Moby. Right? Unless they were living in some bush and he's some, you know, rural man who don't believe in uh, the light and don't believe in the cable and don't believe in the internet and believe in the social media. That would be really strange because she was listed as wanted from January 2022 
she's a Jamaican who left America to go to an American. So you know, say once she pick up the murder charge or once she get wanted, you know, say story spread back to Ironman. Right, say, you know, you say I know, wanted to, but I don't say, who knows? Maybe him know, maybe him don't know. So me I wonder is, if him did know, does that mean he is the kerosene in this scenario? I don't know. We have to go, we have to go, we have to go, we have to go figure out a, a male version of the kerosene. Now I'm wondering why when the young kid they pick up murder charge, they run go back to Ironman. Are they not aware that there is an extradition treaty? You know so Uncle Sam will give up after them fugitives. Right, to the point where them even have an entire team in the Ironman working with the JCF, right, the J body body tip, right? An entire team whose job is to catch free them fugitives, right, and ship them back to Uncle Sam. At Uncle Sam's expense. At Uncle Sam I fund the entire team, right? To catch Uncle Sam criminals and send them back to Uncle Sam. Right? Jamaican taxpayer has been removed from this burden. If Uncle Sam won the moon clean up at his own expense, right? Good luck to him. Right? As long as that's all there is and there's nothing more to it. Right? But we have to go see. But this whole heap run go back to Iron Man thing. Kind of strange, right? Because you're going to get extradited. Right? But here you go. Uzbekistan or the North Pole or something like that. So, can the fugitives in Uncle Sam, go to them born in Uncle Sam country or them Iron Man turn American in a matter? If you commit murders and you don't want someone to run go, run go somewhere else. Iron Man already have enough wanted people. Iron Man already have enough fugitives. It doesn't need any more, not even one. Let me talk about in the parkings briefly. People ask me, say, it's them killer, a, a, a politician. It's like a shake up the politician now, and now the motherfucker start work. Let me say a unicorn. No, it won't. Right. This might sound a bit harsh, but a councillor is hardly a big wig. When you talk about politics and political movers and shakers, a councillor. It's not exactly, you know, somebody who make the tables turn. Man. Matter of fact, counselors get gunned down all the time. Just with them kill Hines, who was a JLP counselor. Man. A similar circumstance to murder in a vehicle, man, if I'm not mistaken. Man. From your youth till now, the amount of counselors 87 skill. Man. And not no come out of it. 87s don't check with counselors, they make kill a counselor quick. Right. When you hear me talk about politicians, then you hear me talk about big big. When you hear me say right, politicians, they can, you know, they are immune to the madness. When I talk about a councillor, right, I'm talking about MPs and senators, right, people who are in the house. Right, and when I say in the house, that's a double entendre right there. So if you know, you know. Right. MPs and senators right, are political bigwigs. They are the lawmakers. Right. Only time a year said them did has some sprat thing gone wrong. Right. Some you know backdoor activity right, turned out into some kind of murder scene. Right. MPs and senators. Not councillors, not activists, right, not delegates. Right. Them people are just like the average Jamaican citizens. They are Kenan father too. Just like all the rest of us are Kenan father, they are Kenan father too. Man. Man. It is the MPs and the senators who are immune to the madness so far. Man. Those in the house are cushioned from the murder madness. 87 is the only problem with them. That's a different level of problem. Telling 87 to shoot off our counselor and telling him to shoot off our MP. It's like telling somebody to scale Blue Mountain and then telling them to scale Mount Everest. We're talking about different, different levels right now. Whole different levels we're talking about. Those in the house, right, let me say, cushion from the madness. It's why they're so lazy and pompous. Right, this is why they take them time to get around to anything. Anything regarding crime and anything, you know, murders and anything. Any kind of laws to deal with this and 
bring it and take them time to come around and you know, get around to it. Oh, we're talking about it. Oh, we're still going over it. Right? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to them. As I say, it's like asking me to sit down for my account to figure out right, how to stop P red pain. I mean, okay, I'll go on the council, yes, and every time they ask me, I'll be like, yeah, we're working on it. If their lives and family lives were relying on their decisiveness, they would act quickly. Like when they thought the Big C was going to kill them all. Remember one time Big C did hot? We know someone was in more Big C again. One time Big C did hot and everybody thinks they're not going to do it. Politicians think they're not going to do it. And they're not going to do it. Remember how fast they updated the disaster act? Remember? We were at record time. It happened so fast, we never even see what's going on. We just hear it done. Right, because that's something we were thinking. Oh, that's a good thing. Oh no, we forget about the police now, but crime and gangs and 87s. And be honest, I don't have time for that. Uh, I'll get around to it. Uh, you know, one time, ladies, you know, one time, a bigger man, I want money and he really want you. And he's like, me, me link you, man, me link you, man. Uh, me, 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 me get around to it. Don't hold your breath. Anyway, I rest my case. It's just one. Be good for yourself. Yeah, you don't know. More life. Ultra squad. See you circling. Bless.